Part F, which was also part of the camp, the prisoners called it the plantation. This camp was a labor camp. Everyone who came here had to work. All of the prisoners were assigned work details and then sent there. And this one, well, what does plantation sound like, was one of the worst ones. Um, officially, this part was called Herb Gardens, Kreutergärten. This is where the prisoners grew medicinal herbs, to all kinds of plants, to then sell them. And of course, to also sell them to companies that actually made mats out of them. Then, we do have this small part, part B. That's the crematorium area. Today, it is accessible from the prisoners camp. Back when this was an actual camp, it was not. It was only accessible through this big part. This big part is the SS camp. Remember the green fence that I showed you on the bus? Yeah. You've seen those houses, those white houses. You will see them on the way back as well. Um, Dachau was the first concentration camp that was built and it was built right at the beginning in um, April 33. Does anyone know when Hitler was voted into power? Also 33, March 33. Not even a month after Hitler took over government and he was actually voted into power. So all was legal. They opened up, the Nazis opened up the first concentration camp. And if you think about that, who might the first prisoners have been? Yes, political opponents. Politi political opponents they had to get rid of. So people from parties like the Communist Party, the Socialist Party, um, trade unionists, everyone that they did not want in their new government and that they had to get rid of. So this was, in the beginnings, a camp of political prisoners. Then, a couple of months later, because first it was run by Bavarian police, it was like a regular prison. Then, this guy, and you might have already seen him and know his name even, Heinrich Himmler, handed it over to the SS. 